Hello, this is Glenda, and today I'm going to attempt to stamp soap and paint on it. Um, this is something that I've done with face paints on skin, but actually I never tried to do it on soap. Uh, the stamping, I mean. I've painted on soap, but I've never stamped. So, but I'm going to try to follow the same principles. So I'm using just a tiny bit of black oxide powder and the one I have is from crafters crafters choice and then I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol and here I have 70% and I really try to add very little you know, few drops because at least for face painting what works best is to have a very dry paint of sorts and what I have here is a firm sponge which I got from my face painting supply kit so with a little bit of alcohol I just stir it and now I'm just using the sponge to dip it into the liquid this. So let's see how this works. I'm going to be using probably this one, which is Cinderella, I believe. And let's see if this works. I'm just going tapping on it to make sure that the oxide goes on every line. And as I'm running out of pigment on the sponge I go back and I load it again and I'm just using just this small dabbing motion movements hopefully it works if not I may have to maybe add more pigment All right, I think it's fairly covered, so I'm gonna try it now. I have a off-white ivory soap, and I'm just pressing on it. Oh, that's not bad. I wasn't pressing to make an indentation because this soap is already cured, and I don't think I want an indentation, but that actually came out pretty good. You can see. I moved it around the eyes. It looks like there is a double line over the ear. So it's best to keep a steady hand. All right, that means that I'm ready for the next step. All right, so the next step is to paint them. And because I only need a, to paint very small portions, I'm going to attempt to just um, wet the um, brush in a little bit of alcohol and then grab a little mica and perhaps just mix it there and then just color the hair slightly she's blonde that seems to work I only have the one brush so I'm just going to wipe it off. I think it'll be best to wash it between uses. If you only have one as well. Or if you don't want it any more than one. Um, I'm going to do the dress next. In the gloves. Since they're both going to be this blue. And what I have here is this actually glitter. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. It sort of looks like a mica though. And I'm going to leave these um, containers. I forgot. I'm going to leave these open because I did touch it with alcohol. And I want that alcohol to evaporate. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the glitter is just going to clump. So this will not be the best colorant. Alright, so my options were this sea green mica or climb blue. 
what I need is a light blue but I think this one will work because I'm only adding a tiny bit so it's going to go like almost semi-transparent so this may work I'm gonna wet again my brush and just put it in there oh maybe it won't it looks very deep I'm gonna attempt to do a very light touch and I'm trying to get rid of most of the mica on the brush so that it goes on pale um, that might work now if I wanted to I could uh, paint her skin I don't have an exact color for skin so I usually just mix orange with a little bit of pink however for a transparent wash orange alone might work let's try it okay, so I went and washed my brush because I didn't want traces of blue on her skin first like wet it on the tiny bit of uh, alcohol that I have and now I'm gonna dip it onto the orange and let's see it looks very solid right now so right now it doesn't look like a natural skin color but when as I tap it on against the tile it loses some of that color and strong pigment and then I'm just going to paint her and I think that looks sort of uh, close to the skin color for her now when I'm painting I'm not necessarily avoiding the black areas they seem to stay but I'm not either strongly brushing against them I'm just doing very light taps because it looks like right there I'm about to lose the the finition of the fingers and I think that's her skin as well and we'll just pretend that her gloves are meant to be white or maybe I can try coloring them with the blue again or maybe with the teal anyway I'll finish that and and I'll post a picture of this all right so I decided to do the gloves and the hair piece with um, the this color the teal color which is sea green mica and um, that looks I think it looks fine you can tell how the reflection of the mica makes it look sort of shimmery which is a nice effect now this will come off as soon as you use the soap it will wash off right away however I saw a video from sorcery soaps where she put a thin layer of um, crystal you know clear melt and pour and that kept the design going I think she said for about 10 uses or so I guess depending on how thick you do that layer so that's something to consider but that was for hand washing I guess on the body it may not last as long but that's it thank you for watching bye